I've put myself into a situation which is bound to make people light their torches and pull out their pitchforks. Sweet dreams. If you've watched a few of my videos, you'll recognize this statement that I've always planted by Flygon. Music is the most underrated part of entertainment. And today we're going to focus on the music of a great game. This is my top 5 soundtracks in The Witcher 3. Don't go away. So before I start with number 5, I will say this was incredibly difficult to narrow down. The Witcher 3 is the crowned king of soundtracks in my opinion. I did my best, um, so let's just jump right into it. Here is number 5. Number 5. White Orchard Theme This might be the most forgotten theme. It's at the very beginning of the game. You only spend a couple or more hours here, which is, you know, longer than some full games, but with DLC, The Witcher is like 120 hours, which kind of makes sense why the soundtrack is up here. For me, it's a little bit nostalgic, crazy to say, but it just reminds me of the beginning of the game and how you start this great adventure. Number 4. Blood on the Cobblestones. I rarely notice any particular action soundtrack. I'm usually more focused on the actual action on hand. But when I first heard the soundtrack, I was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. This is good. It only plays in a few specific fights, so I'm just going to overlay it in regular fights. But take a listen, and quick warning, this might raise your energy levels to Avatar State levels. Yeah, this is a pretty fucking sick game. Number 3 Ard Skellig Village. The Skellige Isles is likely the most favorited destination of Witcher fans. Between the great storylines that take place on the Skellige Isles and the legends that hide in the forest, the Skellige Isles also hides great soundtracks. But there's really one soundtrack in the Skellige Isles that I just, it's just above the others in my opinion. Take a listen. Number 2 Wind in the Caraberta Woods This soundtrack is featured in the DLC Blood and Wine, and to me, this is the ultimate ambient track. To me, this soundtrack reminds me of The Witcher 3. How comforting this game is, to me, it just feels like uh, home pretty much. Uh, it's just so good. It's music you could even meditate to. Overall, it just really gets the ambience down of The Witcher 3, in my opinion. Dude, 
Number one, Care More. Okay, this is probably the most unsurprising pick for best soundtrack. It's great. From what I've seen, everyone says it's the best. I don't have a degree in music, so I can't pick apart why this scientifically works out for the human ear, but it's a beautiful soundtrack. Um, even live, it sounds great. I'll probably play a clip of that after. But overall, I mean, this soundtrack has everything. So that's it. A rather quick video, but right now I'm in limbo of trying to finish Avatar The Last Airbender Season 3 and Pokemon Sapphire. So I thought, why not rank my top 5 favorite soundtracks in The Witcher 3? Incredibly difficult to narrow down, as I said in the beginning. But if you've played The Witcher 3, you know this game. You know how hard this list was to narrow down. I had an honorable mention list. It was like 12, 12 songs long. So I thought I'd just cut that out. But you know, what is your favorite soundtrack? There is like 40 to choose from. Comment down below. But for now, I'm your host, Cyberplant Entertainment, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace. Oh! Oh, nice arrow, bro. You should have swapped quicker! Now you're in trouble! Oh no! It's not even what I wanted. This. Damn shame, man. Oh, damn! The execution. Hey, yo. If you've stuck around this far, you're probably here for the random Easter egg soundtrack I put in at the end of every video. While you listen, if you like, click the like button down below and subscribe if you want to see uh, future content. Uh, any support helps uh, tremendously more than you'd ever believe. And if you're super dedicated, uh, you can buy me a coffee. Link in the description. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, peace.